Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am very excited to be bringing you my very first video on Fallout 4 Console Mods of the Week. In this series, I'll be going over a few of the most popular mods of the week on Xbox One and PS4 in the future. I couldn't include too many mods in this video because right now the top mods are all pretty similar and I don't want to repeat everything. But in the future, I will be showcasing up to 8 or even 10 mods in a video. All the mods will be linked in the description, and one last thing before I start is that some of the footage in this video will be recorded on PC. I found that it was easier to showcase some of the mods using my PC, but all the mods that I include are exactly the same on consoles and PC, so there shouldn't be any difference uh, when it comes to uh, playing with the mods. Getting straight into it, our first mod is the MK14 EBR by Dazzerfong. This is a new battle rifle modded into Fallout 4, and not only does it look and perform really well, but it may even be better than the other guns in the game. It may have some wonky animations such as the reload, but these things are totally unnoticeable when playing. You can find the gun throughout various locations, and it is fully customizable. There are dozens of attachments and modifications you can make, including receivers, stocks, and sights. A lot of the gun modifications are completely new to the game as well. After I was done customizing the gun, it honestly felt like I was playing Battlefield or something because the weapon just feels really good and you should definitely check it out. Next up we have Enhanced Blood Textures by D-Definder. This is one of the top mods on PC and so it is nice to see that it has made it over to Xbox and as you can hopefully see, it increases the blood resulted from kills and makes the spatter look much more realistic. All kinds of attacks now cause new wounds and bleeding, and this is definitely a mod that you're going to want to try if you like immersion. You may have noticed that my commonwealth looks a lot greener, and this is because of our third mod, which is Spring in the Commonwealth by Forever Assur. As you can see, this makes the game look so much better, and it essentially is just new textures for grass, weeds, flowers, and shrubbery, but I was really surprised at how much it transformed the game and turns the Commonwealth into something amazing. Our next mod is the Portable Holotape Cheat Menu by Nexus AU. You can find the holotape outside Vault 111 for, and from there you can essentially become an unstoppable wanderer. You can turn on things such as no clip and god mode, clear the weather, add ammo, add crafting materials, add stim packs, add perks, and much, much more. And this is definitely a must for some of the slightly more casual Fallout 4 players who get tired of dying over and over. And this is also handy if you want to try out survival mode. This mod is also similar to console commands, which is really nice to see on uh, Xbox and PS4. My final mod for this video is WRVR, New Companion Radio Station for the Commonwealth and Far Harbor by Casey Mongio. This is an amazing mod, actually. It adds a new radio station DJ and companion into the game, and the radio station appears to be 100% lore-friendly and is a nice addition to the vanilla game. The DJ, Casey Kessler, is also a companion which you can recruit. Despite some tiny bugs, she actually provides a better experience than most companions, and one thing I really liked was that you can ask her to tell you a joke, and once she even messed up and said something like, let me try again, and when you're actually talking to her in-game, it's amazing, and so, like, with the voice acting and the mouth animation, and so this is definitely a mod that everyone can enjoy. So guys, that is it for this week in mods. I realize this was just a quick video, however, next week there'll be even more mods, and I'll once again be making videos. I may not be able to do one next week. I might have to double up in two weeks because I'm currently having a lot of work to do as a student. And so bear with me guys, but I will be making a ton of videos over the summer. And I'll be continuing this series as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, don't forget to check out the mods in the description and to check out my previous Fallout 4 videos. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and tell me what you think about console mods in the, in the comment section. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe for more follow-up for content, and I will see you guys later. Bye.